Next, we'll go to IDS Installation and Configuration on Snort. For installation, first, we have to ensure our Linux OS is always updated by using the command sudo apt-get update. Next, we'll install tools required for building software by using the command sudo apt-get install build essential. The third step, we have to install all not prerequisites as the following, which is all available from Debian repository. And as extra information, Bison and Flex are requirement for installation of Snort DAQ. After that, we can create directory for our Snort installation. After creating the directory, we can change into the directory. After that, we'll go to www.snort.org to download our Snort DAQ and unzip and finally install on our operating system. Next, we can go to the same website www.snort.org to download our Snort, unzip and then again install on our operating system. So next, we'll go to configuration. The first step is we have to update shared libraries, create soft link for Snort binary, create new unprivileged user and a new user group, create folder structure to house the Snort configuration, create new files for the whitelist, blacklist, as well as local rules. Next, we will change the permission for the new directories by using the command sudo chmod-r5775 and the path. For the third step, we'll copy configuration files from the source to configuration directory. After that, we'll go to snort.conf to modify a few parameters. First is the protected IP address. Next, the path to the rules. The output, snort to log file. And we have to uncomment any rules available and comment any rules that is unavailable. For the last step, we'll go to local.rules and create custom snort rules, for example, alerting incoming ICMP connections to the local rule files, and the command is as below. That's all for the installation and configuration of Nord. 